Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I have a super cute shaped card for you inspired by a travel trailer from 1973. I don't have a template because the card is all made up of basic shapes. Here are some pieces you'll need to cut if you wanna get that done ahead of time. And then here are some random dies I used for some other cuts and I'll talk about those as I go. The panel for the front of the card is five and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm going to give it a little texture by turning it over and scoring from the short end every quarter inch all the way across. This is optional, but I think it adds a fun touch like vintage metal siding. Next, I want to round the top corners and I want a larger round there than I could get with my punch. So I'm tracing a one and a half inch circle and I'll cut those corners away with scissors. I brushed a little gray ink over the panel to hit the raised score lines. And this isn't any special gray ink, it's just whatever ink was left in my brush from the time before. And you don't have to do this, but I like that it adds a little worn, distressed look to the camper. At the bottom, I wanna cut the corners away, and I've marked this oval die where I want it to line up in relation to the sides of the panel. This lines up at 3 quarters of an inch up the side and 3 eighths of an inch across the bottom. And that doesn't need to be exact. If you wanna use a tag die or just cut the corners straight with your scissors, that's fine too. I am also gonna make a cut for the wheel well. And I found a tag die in my stash that was the right size with rounded corners, but you can use another tag die or an oval or get creative with an alphabet die. Maybe a capital D would work. My cut here is one and a quarter inches wide and a quarter inch high. So I cut those and I'm gonna cut the opposite corner as well. I have a strip of paper cut that is one inch by five and a half inches and that goes across the panel above those bottom corner cuts. The wheel is made of three concentric circles. Mine here are one and a quarter inches, one inch and half an inch. And I just glued those together and centered them on each other. The door of the camper is one and a quarter inches wide by three inches high. And the window piece here is three quarters by one and three quarters. And I'm just centering that toward the top of the door. I made a little handle for my door and you can freehand that or use a little circle or punch a hole out, whatever works for you. What I ended up using is a little negative cut from a capital B die and it was just the right size. The door goes to the right side of the card, about an inch from the edge and a quarter inch up from the bottom. These windows are both one inch square and they are on a base that is one and a quarter inches by two and three eighths inches. So when you glue those on, there will be an eighth inch border around the edge and up the middle. And that goes on the left side of the panel, centered between the edge and the door and overlapping onto the accent stripe. I glued the wheel to the back side of the panel and I'm using my grid mat to make sure that it's creating a total card height of four and a quarter inches for my card front. If you don't have a grid mat, you can lay your card onto an A2 envelope to make sure it will fit. I 
The last piece to cut is a quarter inch by one and a half inches, and I'm going to score and fold that in half at three quarters of an inch. My camera died here, so I apologize, but I did add glue to the whole inside of the strip up to both ends, and I folded it over the edge of the panel, again making sure that it lines up at a total height of four and a quarter inches, so that the card will fit in an envelope and then stand up nicely when it's displayed. The base for this card is five and a half by eight inches, and it is scored at four and a quarter inches. I'm going to use the camper panel as a template and trace the corners so that I can cut them to match. I'm going to cut the top corners on the fold, so I'm cutting through the front and the back of the base. And then I'll open the card, so I'm just cutting the bottom corners on the front of the base, not the back side. When that's done, I can glue the camper panel to the card base, and that's it. You can embellish as you like, or leave it as it is. So cute. Thank you so much for watching.